In question 14, we're given two patterns, pattern A represented as a graph and pattern B represented as words. And we have to determine which of these statements about pattern A and pattern B is true. Well, let's start with pattern A. It tells us that the first three terms are shown in the grid. So let's set this up where we look at the term number and the value in each of the patterns. Okay, for term number one, the value is three for pattern A. So term one, value three. Let's look at term two. The value is seven for pattern A. So we can say term two, the value is seven. And then for term three, the value is 11. Okay, let's look at pattern B now. It says that we start at 9 and then add 3 to get the next term. So if we start at 9, the first term would be 9. And if we add 3, the second term would be to add 3, which would give us 12. And the third term would be 15. Okay, now let's look at some of the statements. We'll start at the bottom. It says that pattern A will always have a term with a greater value than pattern B at the same term number. Well, term number one, pattern A value is three, pattern A B value is nine. Well, right away, that means that pattern B is larger than pattern A, so this is false. So we can eliminate that one right off the bat. Okay, let's look at another statement. The terms in both patterns are only odd numbers. Well, we can see here that we've got some even number for pattern B, term number two. So that right away we know that that one's false. All right, the next statement. Pattern A will reach a term with a value of 15 first. Well, let's look at pattern A. Starts at three, up to seven, then to 11. Pattern B, 9 to 12 to 15. Well, pattern B reaches the number 15 first. So we can eliminate that statement. Well, it looks like our first term must be the one that's true, but let's verify. It says the seventh term in both patterns is 27. So let's find out. Let's extend this and add in the seven terms. So we've got term number 4, five, six, and seven. So for pattern A, we start at three, up to seven, then to 11. That means we're going up by four each time. We can see it here. We're going up from here, one, two, three, four. So if we extend this pattern, the next term would be 15. After that, 19, adding four each time, then 23, and then 27. In pattern B, we're going up by 3 each time. So 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So if we extend that, the next term would be 18. The next one would be 21. After that would be 24. And then 27, going up by 3 each time. So let's look at the value for the seventh term. It is indeed 27 for both terms. Therefore, we know that that statement is the right answer.